Greetings and salutations. This is Pandora the Eclectic, also known as Pandora the Eclectic 1, on SoundCloud. If you wish to know more about that, click the links below. And basically, this video... This video... I don't even know where to begin. But anyways... I was having a conversation with my roommate this morning. Apparently, you know, we were trading, you know, current events because, well, we had nothing else to talk about That's this morning. And she had run by me that, uh, good old, uh, Barack Obama had a bit of a scare this weekend. <laughs> if you can consider it a scare. But, uh, you know, uh, scare. <laughs> you know, scare is going to the dentist and then finding, thinking he found a, uh, you know, a root, a uh, rotten root in your tooth. It's been, you know, root canal time. And baby, yeah, <laughs> that's a scare. This goes on the verge of actually being a terroristic threat. Which somehow seems to also kind of turn into like the racial thing. Which, you know, don't get me wrong, there is racism and it exists, but I really hate it when people just assume that's all this fucking is. You know? It's not, it is both, really, it's both. It's not just because, oh, he's a black man. No, this guy is going after the President of the United States of America, and trust me, this is not the first time there has been a president that has had his life a attack. Now, mind you, <laughs> some people would have preferred it to be a certain one, and his name <clears throat> goes by the name of Bush. And no, and no way, shape, or form am I a Bush supporter. I fucking hate his bloody, blinking ass. That's, I really hate seeing him in the news nowadays. And he see how well his life is going. Because I'm thinking in the back of my mind, of course your life is going fine. Of course it is. And of course you're a good president. Right now. Because... You're not doing jack shit. Or you have nothing to do with it. That's why you're a good president. Because hey, you're not doing anything. Now, would I say the same about Barack Obama? Well, I know people really get pissed when you say that, but at the same time, I would probably say... He's not helping things either. Okay? He's... You know... Partially I blame it on... Well, look at what he's up against. But I would also say, well, look at what Bush was up against. So... I mean, the only reason why it's, it might be different is, again, because of race, maybe. Okay, but... You know, don't get me wrong, I'm not on his side in any way, shape, or form, he's an asshole. But, you know, it's not like, hey, if you're gonna hold a white man to the same standards that a black man's gonna be, and say, okay, well, when this sort of thing happens to a black man, whether, no matter what position he holds, or she, or if it's if it happens to a woman like me, or any race or gender, then that same standard needs to be held for everybody. Hey, okay. But anyways, it was the fact that, what I think is really stupid about the whole thing is, the guy got through by, or at least this is what I've heard, and from Archfiend, that he crawled under a fence. A fence. <laughs> uh, 
It's like, oh, really? So, as long as, you know, and don't get me wrong, there have been some, you know, it really puts that whole, I, I don't watch this guy either, but if you've heard of Wild Bill, and I think almost everyone has, and pretty much want him to fuck off, but at the same time, I've heard he has known people at the Secret Service, and said some things. Now, I don't know if they know what he told them per se. I only saw this uh, clip of it or so on my TJ The Amazing Atheist. And, you know, that really doesn't help that there are actually Secret Service agents that have opened their goddamn mouths and have told everybody shit like this. Because, you know, I think and now, this might have been an accident. This, this wasn't because the Secret Service's laziness. This was just because Iraq was getting really pissed off and wanted to, you know, screw with the president. However, it was sent through to a letter. And, of course, yeah, I can't blame people for not liking Bush, but still, people, if we're going to get all pissy over Bush, yeah, and we're gonna get really pissy over Barack Obama was getting killed. Don't get me wrong, I don't want I don't want him to die. But let's just keep that in mind. Uh, another thing in the news today. And it is pretty interesting. Uh Chi not China. Hong Kong is eventually going to get its independence. Which I'm all for. However, uh, its government or whatever it has in place that is in Britain seems to be kind of shaky on giving them any rights or freedoms of their own. Which isn't a new thing. But, you know, there have been protests, all that stuff. And, you know, I have to say, it's not much I can say over here except there. There are exceptions, there are exceptions, you know. Uh, I think uh, Occupy Wall Street is at least trying to fight for our economic, um, economic equality. So, I applaud that. But, you know, it's not the same as fighting for freedom of speech, which we have here. And our independence, you know, that, that would have been pretty damn American. Got a minute. I I have to applaud people who are fighting for their right uh, to do what they want. However, I guess you gotta argue. Well, lots of people are not doing it over here because well, we already had that, and you know, I got mad though. But when someone messes with it, people tend to just kind of be like, meh, and just go about their day. And yeah, that's really quite sad in some manners. Uh, another thing. Okay. I'm trying to think. There is one other thing I've been seeing around here. Huh. <laughs> that is just kinda heinous, but it I can't quite remember what the heck it was. I I will have to make another video about it to since I had rings for it. <laughs> I've forgotten. <sighs> so, uh... Hmm. I guess the other thing is... Oh, well, no, I want to make a special video for him, too, so... Sorry. Sorry the end of this video is kind of meandering right now, but... It's just trying to remember what I want to talk about, but anyways, it's, thank you for watching, and I have to be honest, I'm going to be putting up a lot of videos, and you're going to see probably a few more videos after this one, because I got a lot to talk about, and it's mostly because there's some messed up nonsense going on in this world, and someone's got to talk about it. Anyways, this is Pandora, the Eclectic. 
telling you to keep it frosty, my hey, little ones, and, well, that's all.